Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Reese. This is their part number DS75A. This is a piece of typical uh, perimeter gasketing. Uh, nothing super unusual about it, nothing super spectacular about it, um, or remarkable, I suppose, except that it is a U-shaped channel design, and I generally find these are a bit more, ri they're not a bit, they're substantially more rigid when you try to do this to them. And the advantage of that is that between the hole centers, when you tighten the screws down, you have much less propensity for it to belly ever so slightly, uh, which will work towards uh, retarding the um, infiltration of uh, moisture behind the weather stripping. And in testament to the fact that this U-shape is more rigid, there is no back flap that would come up and seal against the back side of this. So that would be the one thing that would make this advantageous. Um, this sort of you know, tiny little V-groove or whatever does give it a bit of a detail rather than being just the typical flat style aluminum. This is a redesign or, uh, of the DS-75. It used to look different where the legs were uh, not the same length and it used to tip back a little bit. Um, but they have removed that holder and now this is the holder, which I think is the same holder as the 863A. Anyway, um, I've also seen this installed as a split astragal, one on each door. I wouldn't recommend that. I don't think a vinyl bulb would be the appropriate uh, material to use. I'd look for a bristle or a pile when using it as a split astragal. But this would be very nice to use also as perimeter gasketing, not only on doors, but on windows. I have people who uh, will call and say, I need hardware for... Uh, I've got a restaurant, and in the winter we're going to close up all the windows, but in the summer we're going to open all of them up. But I need a way to seal that. So you can run that material around all four sides and not only seal it, but permit it to act as a stop as well. don't know that that would be what I would want to do in terms of a stop um, in an exterior window application. Um, uh, you can uh, really elegantly just push against this vinyl. Vinyl uh, is a entry-level material. I would dissuade you from considering it in all instances, except if economy was the most important factor. Um, Reese does a spectacular job with alternative, much higher performance material. Sure, they've got the, the vinyl. Sure, they've got the neoprene, the silicone type stuff. But what they showcase is their polyurethane insert. And polyurethane is outrageously durable, especially when it comes to abrasion and tear resistance. Obviously extreme temperature, but silicone is spectacular in that regard. Not permitting the growth of uh, organic material on the surface of, uh, of the weather stripping. Uh, door sweeps, people who are gonna like that a lot are you're going to be your pharmaceutical plants, your food processing areas where polyurethane is clearly superior to anything else when it comes to keeping areas clean. Um, vinyl's gonna fatigue with exposure to extreme temperatures and mostly to ultraviolet. If there are photons, there's ultraviolet. Here in Southern Florida, this stuff is a bad idea. This, is, <laughs> this will be gone in a couple of years with the intense uh, amount of UV that's in every, uh, you know, measurable quantity of daylight. Uh, you can get a sun sun tan on the on a cloudy day down here. Um, so uh, vinyls, you know, only when, you know, hey, listen, I've got a job. I got a hundred doors. I was told to weather strip it. Yeah, vinyl is what I'm using. Okay, I'm not. I would not fault you for that. Uh, but be aware, be aware of the fact of what its downside is, and be aware of the fact that the manufacturing can, can, give, can give you any uh, level of durability when it comes to an insert. Um, okay, so the DS75 is available in four finish options. A is mill aluminum. That's what the aluminum looks like when it comes from the mill. That's what this is, simply extruded. Nothing else is done to it. You can do C for clear anodized, uh, G for gold anodized, and my personal favorite, D for dark bronze. The dark bronze from Reese is the most spectacular of all dark bronze 
processes on aluminum that I've ever seen. If you're doing hardware that's true oil rubbed bronze, I would recommend that you consider no one except Reese if you want to match that aluminum color on your weather stripping, your threshold, your door sweeps to the true oil rub bronze because it has streaks of the lighter bronze in it uh, as well. It's the most spectacular. I've sold that to people who said, boy, this is no good. I, I, what I have is almost black, even though it's not black. It is indeed almost black. Other manufacturers are dark and then darker uh, on the scale. Reese is going to be towards the very light end. So if you're doing oil rubbed bronze, true oil rubbed bronze, that'd be great. If your aluminum storefront is black, it's not going to be the right idea for you at all. I would dissuade you from using Reese dark bronze in those practically black storefront applications. Dimensional properties. There is a cut sheet below this video. You can see that we've got five eighths worth of aluminum, but then we're going to get on to about seven eighths with the bulb. Overall height, they've got us at a quarter inch. Okay. Uh, this is listed in the site in lots of different lengths. This happens to be a three foot piece. If you have need for a custom length, obviously a header, uh, if you have need for a custom length, by all means let us know by ordering the next longest piece or pieces and simply indicate in the comment field the length that you'd like for us to cut the material back to. The reasoning is this. If you had to take this three foot piece and cut it down to say 32 inch, well you're going to lop off that slotted hole that's there and that slotted hole is awfully nice to have. Speaking of that slotted hole, screws are included in a complementary finish. Uh, the slotted holes are handy because they allow you to tailor the installation to the actual field conditions. Th what I mean by that is when you're pre-drilling those holes, that drill bit has a tendency to walk a little bit if you've not used a center punch. The jam may not be plumb. It might be towed. It might, the door might be warped. It might be bent. Uh, the jam might be twisted. There, there might be a small amount that when the door closes, you're either making too little or too much contact with the bulb. Those slotted holes permit you to scooch it over a little bit, so to speak, um, so that you can continue to get latching out of the door. What good is a door that doesn't latch? Reese can off also do these as UL parts, meaning that they're listed for use on fire rated doors. So be mindful to order it that way and you have to add the prefix F to get that. And in those instances, when you do when you are doing a fire rated door, what are what what are the hallmark, the cardinal rules of fire rated doors? Self closing, self latching. You have to be able to have the door self close and self latch, and your weather stripping can't keep it from doing that, or you don't have a fire rated door. Uh, so if you have need for a custom length, by all means, let us know. Order the next longest piece or pieces and indicate in the comment field the net length you want us to cut it back to. If it was me with this profile, I would order them long, but I would be as close as possible. And then I would take and miter this at the header and the jam, and that would permit you a really nice look when you're mitering this material. Give you a nice clean corner uh, is what I would do. I wouldn't want to run it long because inevitably um, you're going to have... Who's going to notice it? Nobody really, but I do. I would miter it since I'm going to cut it anyway. And as a result, I would probably have them, uh, I'd probably order them a little bit long, an extra couple of inches would be my opinion. And I would do so because of the symmetrical profile of this U-shaped style holder. I am partial to Reese. I hope that comes through in this video. I'm a huge fan of theirs because I like their quality. I like their dependability, their reliability, their expertise, most of all. Um, finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Reese products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. If you have any questions on the Reese DS75A perimeter gasketing or any other Reese product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.